told you, the clothes that you wear can determine how happy you feel and the kind of day that you're going to have. Would you believe me? Well, it turns out that color actually does matter. And in today's episode, I'm going to share how easy it is to dress yourself happy. Hi, I'm Leonie and welcome back to my channel. Now, whether you care much about fashion or not, and I'm picking that you do because you are watching this video, but regardless of how much you care about fashion, there is only one fashion trend that I truly believe we all need to know about. And it's called dopamine dressing. With the pandemic came a real loss of control for a lot of us. And many of us had to put on hold a lot of the things that used to give us joy. Thankfully, we all still have control over that one thing that is proven to give us a sense of happiness. And believe it or not, it is our clothing. And that connection between our outfits and our general state of mind is being explored more and more lately. And that got me really interested to delve a little bit deeper into this whole notion of dopamine dressing. And I've got to say, I was fairly blown away with what I found. And at this point, I'd just like to say a very big thank you to the team at Skillshare for sponsoring today's episode. Now, if you're lacking a little motivation or direction like I have been recently, then I think you will love Skillshare. I'm taking a very cool Skillshare class at the moment called Designing the Life You Want, Four Exercises for Clarity and Motivation. The course is run by a very cool Australian YouTuber that I've followed for a number of years called Michelle B. The class helps you reflect on your life, what you want, what you don't want, and who you want to show up as, which is really cool when you think about it. So it's kind of important self-work that, in my opinion, many of us just don't tend to spend enough time on. The class is designed to help you feel inspired, motivated, and create clarity in your life. It's a great one to take right now if you're in a slump, if you're lacking a little direction like I was, or you just seem to be lacking a little motivation. And if you haven't joined Skillshare yet, then now is the perfect time. Skillshare is an online learning community filled with thousands of inspiring classes. Everything from photography, graphic design, even business classes. And lately I have wanted to take a little bit more control back into my life and I've learned so much from Michelle B's class. I'm definitely feeling like I have a little more clarity than I did before and just a little more direction. One of the great things about Skillshare classes is that there are no ads that run during the class. So there are no distractions. And the thing that I really like about them too is that you can take the class at your own pace. Skillshare also launches new classes every month. So there's always something new to discover. And just when I feel like there's not another class that interests me, a new one pops up. And there's always something to inspire me. So if you'd like to try Skillshare, then the first 1,000 subscribers to click the link down below will get a one month free trial of their premium membership. So if you have a little time on your hands or you'd like to learn a new skill or pick up a new hobby, then I can definitely recommend Skillshare. And as I said, the link will be down below. In a nutshell, dopamine dressing simply means dressing with the intention of boosting your own mood. After doing a bit of digging, I started to realize, whether we like it or not, that fashion, and in particular the colors we wear, can affect how we view ourselves and how we view other people. But it does get a little more complicated when you consider that our moods are influenced by the way someone else acts in response to us and vice versa. So just think about that for a minute. What that's saying is the way people respond to us actually comes full circle and has an impact on how we feel. Mind blown. So if the clothes that we wear have such an impact on our moods and the people around us and how they respond to us, it begs the question of whether we should be taking more time and putting more focus on the colors that we actually wear each day. It's been scientifically proven that color, style, and texture all have psychological associations and they're often tied to our memories. A little bit like music takes us straight back to a time and a place. Color can do the same thing. And it's also been proven that getting out of your comfort zone and wearing a different color or an exciting outfit that really extends you can trigger that release of dopamine, which is 
a happy hormone. Wearing my bright shirts and colorful tops lately has definitely made me feel a whole lot happier. I've also noticed people respond to me with a smile, respond to me in more of a positive way. And certainly from the comments that I've received on my videos when I've worn something colorful, shows that you guys have liked me wearing color as well. All of that just creates a really positive cycle of happiness. And when people are responding well to you, or certainly when they're responding well to me, it does make me feel great. It's a little bit like having what I liken to a good hair day. When you have a good hair day, everything else strangely seems to fall into place. But I suppose the real question is, does fashion truly have the power to make you feel happy? A study from Northwestern University examined a concept called enclosed cognition. Researchers define it in their report as the systematic influence that clothes have on the wearer's psychological processes. Meaning what your clothes are saying to you, not about you, and how they make you feel. So basically when you dress in a certain way, it helps shift your internal self. So this whole idea of enclosed cognition basically gives scientific proof to the idea that you should dress not how you feel, but how you want to feel. So in theory, if you wake up feeling a little flat and a little blah, you can in fact dress yourself happy. Now, if this is all starting to sound a little bit mumbo jumbo to you, or you think that I may have lost my marbles, it turns out that color therapy has been around for centuries. So in ancient Egypt, Greece, and China, color therapy played a really important role in medical practices. They actually had what they called color halls, and these halls were used to treat and heal people. So basically you would be sent into a colorful room, and that is how your sickness would be treated. So color therapy is basically just at the core of understanding the effect that color has on our general well-being. And given the pandemic, this really has got me excited because it does make me feel like color has the power to give us a little bit more of a sense of control over our not only general well-being, but our mental well-being, which for many of us has taken quite a hammering in the last couple of years. Now, I'm not suggesting that wearing colorful clothes is going to be a magic bullet and you can come off any of your medication, but I do think that there really is something in this and something that's worth even just experimenting with yourself. I mean, as I said, I've been experimenting recently with colors without even realizing, and it has had a profound effect on how people have responded to me. And as a result of that, how I've actually felt about myself. And it's kind of dictated the, the pace of my day. I know it sounds like a long shot, but it really has had a positive impact on my lifestyle. So in essence, what that is saying to me is not only are we what we wear, but we can actually become what we wear. So think about that. Think about some of your own clothes and how they make you feel. Think about an outfit that you wore that made you feel absolutely great. Was it a particular color or a style or a texture of fabric that just made you feel fabulous? It's worth just going through your wardrobe and having a little look at some of the outfits and trying to remember what it is that that outfit and how that outfit made you feel. Does an outfit make you feel powerful? Does it make you feel sexy? Does it make you feel in control, wealthy, whatever? The clothes you choose are sending a message to those around you and then those people are responding. And rightly or wrongly, it's well known that we actually judge a person within the first second of meeting them. So it really does make me realize how important what we wear and in particular, the colors we wear can impact others, which in turn comes back and impacts us. So what we wear is a reflection of how we want to be seen. And that makes so much sense to me. These kinds of dressing decisions don't only influence what others think of us, they influence how we think of ourselves. So it really makes sense to me that the whole idea of dopamine dressing is gaining momentum and more and more people are talking about it because we do all need that little bit of extra help at the moment to deal with the 
crazy world that we all live in. And when I was doing a little bit of research on this topic, I also uncovered the idea of dopamine being triggered by simply dressing outside of your comfort zone. And that can be done by incorporating some exciting new colors into your repertoire as well. Or perhaps finally deciding to dress how you have always maybe wanted to dress, but for whatever reason you've been too scared to. Dressing outside of your comfort zone has also been proven to trigger that release of dopamine, that kind of feel good factor. And without getting too complicated, I thought now is a perfect time to just look at a couple of the key colors that are very on trend this year and also very available and just scratch the surface of those colors to explore how these colors are expected to make us feel when we wear them. So here are some of the top trending colors for 2022 and if you wear them, fingers crossed, this is how you can expect to feel. I've also put together a free printable that lists these colors and just shares some of the expected mood lifting qualities that each of them give. So I'll leave a link to that free printable in the description box below so you can download that and have a bit of a read if you would like to. Okay, first up the color red. Now red represents confidence, power, and allure. I mean, we know that red is a sexy color. So it's known as the shade of love and romance. And according to the rules of color therapy, it emits an abundance of energy. So while you wear it, you give off a perception of having lots of energy. And it's also a color that keeps you grounded. Pink is a color that we associate with femininity, romance, and it also represents caring, nurturing, and sharing. And it asserts a strong sense of sensitivity. So for the wearer, it's said to increase a sense of peace, and it's a friendly, playful color. So blue is another color that's really on trend this year, and it's a powerful color, but it also carries a calm and relaxing vibe. While blue is a tranquil color, psychologists also warn slightly about incorporating too much blue into your life because it can bring out a sense of depression and loneliness. Okay, orange is a color that I've been wearing a lot lately and loving, and orange is associated with warmth, acceptance, positivity, and individuality. It's inviting, kind, social, trendy, it's upbeat, it's a fun, youthful color, and it basically is a color that uplifts and stimulates communication. Now green is another color like I'm wearing today. I love my Kelly green pieces at the moment, and it's a color of harmony and health. It's a generous, relaxing color, and it symbolizes safety and growth. Green also engenders hope, prosperity, generosity, and luck. And it's basically a balancing, relaxing, encouraging color. Fuchsia is another biggie this year, and it symbolizes maturity and certainty. It's a fun-loving color that inspires confidence, dependability, and level-headedness. So the perfect color to wear for any day where you just need that little extra boost of confidence. So I've also included white here because white is a really popular color this year. And as I've said in some of my recent videos, there'll be a lot of beautiful white dresses that we can expect to see this year. And those that wear white are often seen as caring, clean, organized people, but they also are creative people. Now black is a color that I've always worn and loved, so I wanted to include black here. And black reflects, not surprisingly, authority and power. In fact, by wearing black often enough, the color can draw admiration and respect. It also is a color that kind of signifies a sense of independence. So as I said, if you want a little bit more information about those colors and a few extra colors that you can expect to see trending this year, then I have created a free printable and I will leave a link to that in the description box below. So you can just whip on over to my blog and download it from there. So while the clothes we wear may not be the answer to all of our mental health woes, it's really sensible to me that they do have an impact on how we feel about ourselves and they can actually help dictate 
the kind of day that we're going to have. So for that reason, I think it's really important to focus on color therapy and the colors that we wear in our daily, day-to-day -day lives. And at the end of the day, whether or not fashion has the power to make us feel happy, like most things in life, it's up to us. But if it means that a stranger smiles at us or we have a little bit more of a positive interaction with people that we come across in our day-to-day -day lives, it's worth, in my mind at least, putting a little bit more focus on the clothes that we wear and the colors that they come in as well. Anyway, that's it from me today. I hope you enjoyed this one. And if you did, I'd love you to give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more and I'll see you real soon. Bye for now.